Hey guys, so I'm back with another advice video and this one's going to be about how to do with peer pressure. Okay, so I'm going to start off with mom, dad, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Uh, kids have to experience things and unfortunately I experienced something that was illegal. So in middle school or the beginning of high school, I tried weed with my friends and from then on I started doing weed a lot. I'm not saying weed is bad for you, you should stop or people who do it are disgusting or I stopped because it was illegal and it was harmful. I just stopped because I really saw my life not going anywhere. I wasn't doing the goals that I was wanting to do. I was so focused on hanging out with my friends and doing it that I really didn't, you know, I just wasn't doing anything that I wanted to do. Um, so I just stopped. But during the course, I had done it so much that I had to just leave my friends behind who were doing it because it just wasn't conducive to what the life that I wanted to live and how I wanted to be and how I wanted to act. So. I was peer pressured to continue to do it after I wanted to stop. I wasn't peer pressured to do it. That was my own free will, my own free choice. So believe me when I know what it's like to be peer pressured into something that you don't want to do or you no longer want to do. So here are some, not steps, but advice for what you should do when you're being peer pressured. You need to find your voice. You have to stand up for yourself and take a stand for what you believe on how you want to be and how you want to be treated. If somebody's peer pressuring you, you need to say something. If you want them to stop or if you don't want to do what they're asking you to do, speak up. Tell them no. You do not have to do it and you do not have to give a reason why you don't want to do it. You just need to speak up for yourself. And this goes for anything in life. If you don't agree with something, speak up. You don't have to be mean about it. You don't have to get an attitude. But you do need to speak up so people respect your decision. The next one is after you speak up, you have to be assertive. If you say no, if you laugh and just say, no, I'm good, you guys know I don't do that, and you smile, you, that's going to be a reason to peer pressure you because you kind of look easy when you're just laughing or you're smiling when you say it. You have to be assertive. You, after you speak up, you have to say no and follow through with your no. You have to say, you can say no thank you. And then if they keep going, you can just say no, but you have to be assertive and mean what you say. Like if they're offering you alcohol. I had a friend in high school who, who wouldn't drink. He would not drink at all. And people would peer pressure him, ask him why, say he's weird. And he would stand up for what he believed. And number two, be assertive with it. He says, no, I just don't want to do it. I don't need to do it. And then he would leave it at that. And that was his way of speaking up and being assertive to the point where people thought he was cool because he didn't drink and he could go to a party and still have fun. So the next one is you need to be stern and follow through. So you've already spoken up, you've already been assertive, now you have to follow through with it and be stern. If they keep peer pressuring you saying why not, why not, why not, do it, do it, you know you want to do it. I literally had friends when I wanted to stop smoking, they would take the joint and push it in my face and be like, you know you want to do it, you know you want to do it, and they were my friends, so I didn't want to catch an attitude with them because I didn't want to hurt their feelings or I didn't want to seem like I was mad or I, I was annoying or they were annoying me, so I would just do it because they just kept pushing it in my face and I just wanted to make them sh shut up. But you need to be, you need to follow through with your no. So if they keep peer pressuring you, you need to do just like your mom would do when you would keep asking her for things, she would say no and she would look stern like don't ask me again with her eyes type of thing you need to stare them down when you say it and you need to keep that hard look on your face that says no so if it works for your mom to get you to shut up it'll work with you and your friends to get them to shut up because you're not looking like you're playing you are standing you are putting your foot down and you're saying no basically so the next one is you need to reiterate no so if they keep asking just like little kids they keep asking why not why why come on please you need to reiterate it, you need to say no. You can give your reason why, like I don't feel like doing it, I don't want to do it, so no. And then you need to end it with end of discussion. Don't ask me again. It may seem like you have an attitude, it may seem like you're being mad or annoyed, and if they ask if you are, you just say no. I'm not annoyed, I just don't want to do it. So just stop. Like you can just say it like that, nonchalant, it's not a big deal. Most friends, if they're real friends, will stop. I mean, you have those annoying ones who, who want to call you names, saying, oh, you're so, you're boring, you don't know how to fun, you can just walk away, you guys, like, or you can just be like, okay, and, and when you give that nonchalant no and and, so what, people are just like, oh, it's not really bothering you, 
Don't let what people say bother you or you will not be able to put your foot down. People will walk all over you, call you names, but if you stand up for yourself and you believe in what you say, people aren't gonna say anything. And if they do, so be it. Why does it matter to you? Now, if they don't stop, walk away. Just like I said, nonchalant, or you can get an attitude, just walk away. Most of your friends, one of your friends will at least walk after you and ask you what's wrong. You don't have to get emotional, you don't have to get mad, you can just say, I didn't want to be there anymore. Most friends will not peer pressure you just to keep you to stay, just because they are your friend and they want to spend time with you, and if you don't want to do it, they'll understand. But if they don't, walk away, go home, go to another part of the room. If you're at a party, go to other people who are dancing, go to the people who are talking, to people who aren't really doing anything. Like, you guys just have to walk away, you have to learn to stand in your truth. And if you have the type of friends who get mad at you for not doing what they want you to do, you can leave and let them cool down. Just let them cool down, they'll get over it. And if they don't, then they're not really your friends. If they stay mad at you, or they don't wanna be your friends because you don't wanna do what they're doing, then they're not your real friends. Go find someone else. There are so many other people out there who like to do what you like to do or don't wanna do what you don't wanna do. And you guys have that in common. There are so many people out there, you just have to make an effort to be friends with them. You will be really surprised about how great some people are that you didn't really take the time to get to know. There are friends who will talk about you because you don't wanna do it. I mean, they're very immature and they're not really friends, but sometimes you're just gonna have to let people go. When I stopped smoking, I would get peer pressure to smoke with those friends. So I had to not only walk away from the situation, but I had to walk out of their lives. I would still be their friend. I would still talk to them when I saw them. I would still be nice. I loved them. They were my friends, but I just couldn't be around them. I would go to their house every day and do the same thing over and over again. I mean, I was, nothing else really mattered. I wasn't doing anything. So much time was, was put into looking for weed when we would go out and I'm like it would take us two hours if we were going to the beach it would take us two hours to get there after we said that we were going to be there because they wanted to look for somewhere to go get high and I just didn't like it I mean I wanted to have fun by not having to do things like that I didn't want drinking and smoking just wasn't a big priority to me anymore so I had to just walk away and they still to this day they would ask me you know why aren't we why don't you come over anymore and I'm I would use the excuse, well, I work a lot, and I really did. I put a lot of my energy into working so that I could afford my car while they were still just smoking. And I'm not saying they were bad people or that was a bad decision. It just wasn't a decision that I wanted to do at that moment anymore. I mean, I was, I just wanted to move on. I wanted to move up. And sometimes when you put so much energy into finding stuff like weed or sitting around with friends and just doing it all day, you don't have time for the luxuries of having just simple fun conversations i just wasn't into it anymore and i'm not calling them bad people they're the sweetest people you could ever meet i was just i wanted to do other things so i still love them i actually do still talk to these people still but i don't hang out with them just because it's just not part of my lifestyle anymore and that's not bad you're not a bad person don't feel bad if they say well you weren't a real friend but if they were real friends they would have understood that you were ready to move on and if they didn't want to then sometimes you just have to walk away do not feel bad stand up for yourself and that's really all i have to say about peer pressure you know stand up for yourself find your voice say no be assertive follow through with it and then if you need to walk away so i hope you guys found this video helpful it's a really um, controversial idea of smoking and this video isn't about smoking this video is not about smoking at all this was just an example that I went through about peer pressure you could be being peer pressured into alcohol stealing robbing beating someone up and um, ignoring a friend making a friend feel bad these are all other ways you can be peer pressured into doing things that you don't want to do so I hope you guys found this helpful I will talk to you guys later and bye